this is the Chilhawi show. And uh, it seems that Chilhawi has a life of its own. We keep getting dozens of emails, uh, commentary, people telling us all the nasty that's going on in Chilhawi from the uh, privileged elite that run and manipulate the town for their own benefit. You can get fired so somebody's relative can get a job. And uh, I got this one email and I'd just like to read part of it because it's so interesting. Uh, Astonished at how accurately one can peg a town after having spent just a few hours here. Every word you've said about this town in the videos and accompanying comments are 100% accurate. You really hit the nail on the head. What you said about the few most rich and powerful families here running everything and the ensuing corruption, totally true. I've seen various powers that be force businesses out of business so they can open their own businesses, force lower class people out of their homes to buy the property and build upper class homes. They've active, actively kept outside businesses from establishing factories here despite the unemployment rate at 6%, which I am told is a vast improvement over the last 10 years. I hear the powers that be want this town to be sort of a retirement town. The police force here is perpetually staffed by people unqualified and possessing no formal military nor law enforcement background. They are in good with these powers that be, however. You see, whenever one of them gets in trouble, they simply re get replaced with someone else who isn't fitted with the responsibility nor the moral integrity that should come with a badge. They're just normal people who have a lust for feeling more powerful than everyone else and are either relatives of, friends with, or relatives of someone who is friends with one of those powers to be. Along with the DUI and Halloween party incidents you've already been familiar with, there are even more serious crimes that have taken place in this small town and are never investigated by the authorities. So uh, that's just one of the <clears throat> emails that we get uh, from uh, Chilhawi. And uh, we just like to say that uh, we have a website on ACA.org. You go to the contents, it says Dogs and Worms. And you go into the page that says Dogs and Worms, and down at the bottom you'll see Chilhawi Index. And in the Chilhawi Index, we have a bunch of pages up, and we're just starting, so they're not quite complete yet. And uh, we will post any photos you send us, and we will post comments and uh, discussion in the uh, Chilhawi Bolton Board. Uh, if you got any interesting photos, uh, you know, we heard some great stories. I mean, they weren't great for the people who were the victims. But they're great in the sense that a small town could generate such corruption. Uh, <clears throat> we've had uh, women write us and said that, uh, hey, you know that woman got, got raped by the police chief and the deputy? Well, uh, there were other girls that got sexually abused in Chilhawi, but uh, they just haven't come forward. So that was another email that we got. Um, I mean, I think the best one is someone wrote us an email and said, did you know that the police, they had an orgy in the city hall and they took photos? Well, we'd love to publish a few photos of that if you got a CD with photographs on it somewhere. Uh, it's amazing how uh, this stuff can leak onto the internet. So uh, just keep sending the photos and uh, the stories. And uh, if an ant shits in Chilhawi, we want to know about it, because uh, we find Chihuahua a most interesting town, and uh, <clears throat> we uh, hope uh, Bill Boswell has the common sense to step down, uh, since he uh, pulled the lid off the Chihuahua cesspool, and uh, I think uh, the Chihuahua show will be around for a good long time. To all you good people in Chihuahua, 
just tell us what's going wrong and uh, who's doing it, and we'll put it up on the website and do anything we can do to help you good folks at Chilhawi. And the rest of you, well, get on the on-ramp and head to somewhere else. <laughs>